Hello everyone, and welcome to the audio description of this short film called Super Saints Behind the Lens, which was produced by and stars six young people. Becca, Jodie, Kaya, Lucius, Millie and Zuhair. They worked on this film for ten weeks, and it was inspired by the theme of football. The film is quite short, under four minutes in total, so I do hope you enjoy it and appreciate the work that went into making it. A white tattered football on a grass pitch. Stack of four Stephanie Mayer books. A sketch of mountains, moon and stars. A dusty revolving light bulb. A blue and white football on a blue stand. And a white t-shirt with a rainbow coloured yes on the front. The camera whirls round the smiling faces of the cast, finally focusing on a young person sitting on the ground, quietly leaning against a tree reading a book. Zed, wearing a blue St. Johnson football top, runs into view, waving his football scarf above his head. Elle, wearing a vibrant yellow t-shirt, waves cheerfully. I've loved football since I was like a toddler and it's just been one of the best things for me in my life like when I've been under a lot of stress I'll just go outside and try and learn and teach myself new football tricks. I've always had an interest in film from a young age. My favourite football memory is when we played against Glen Rothes and I scored the 10th goal plus we won the cup two years in a row. Where are you from? I'm from Jordan by in Perth. How's that going for you? I don't know, it's a great place. Terrible weather, but a great place. Two girls have most of the dialogue. The dollar girl, Kay, wears a brightly coloured Minnie Mouse t-shirt and has a large green bow in her hair. Jay, slightly smaller, wears a red football shirt with Schoon Thistle Football Club embroidered to the side. When Kay talks about her favourite footballer, there's a close-up of the shirt he gave her, focusing on the St Johnson badge. Xander Clark came to play football with us. He ran out of gloves to give people, so he gave me and my sister his top that he wore that day and he signed it. And after every match, I go to see him. And he's like remembered my name and when we went with the PCAVs for um, the dinner I wasn't able to go um, but he still recorded a video for me so that was really nice. Elle adds the cynical voice to the film, slightly mocking football as we watch four feet dribbling a blue and black ball in a corridor. I'm not too much of a big fan on football because everybody just going nuts over a ball and I'm like... Wow, somebody shot a ball into a net. Let's scream at the top of our lungs. Ah! Another question, what does the colour blue mean to you? When the cast discuss what blue means to them, various blue objects are shown at the same time. For example, a blue sky with fluffy clouds, a scuffed badge on a green background, Harry Potter book covers, the nylon head of a sweeping brush, a bottle of antibacterial fairy liquid and a Milky Way chocolate bar. It's a nice colour, you know, it can be associated with lots of different things. People usually associate it with sadness because it's, it's a cold colour for cold people. But it's also a very nice colour, depending on the blue. Because you know how you have like hospital blue, which is just yuck? This is a lot about the colour blue that's so unnecessary, but it's fine. It's a sad colour. From the guy who's wearing it. Yeah. Oh. Sad. It's a sad colour because it brings you sadness. No. Hmm. Colour of your tears. They're technically clear. What does the colour blue mean to you? One simple answer 55. Could you go into more detail? Rangers won their 55th league, they won it for the 55th time um, a few weeks ago, so yeah. The camera focuses on a very new shiny St Johnson football with close-ups of players' signatures. 
What are your thoughts on St Johnston winning the cup? I think they definitely deserved it for what they've like been through with like switching managers quite a lot and not winning. So I think they deserved both both of the cups they won. Elle voices disparaging comments about the making of the film. When he mentions a penguin, we see a grey caged parrot swaying on a yellow plastic swing before the initial scenes are reversed, bringing the film to a close. The Yes t-shirt, blue football on a stand, dusty light bulb, mountain sketch, stack of books, and finally the old cracked white football on a grass pitch. Videos of seamless transitions with my penguin. And that is the end of the film, starring Becca, Jodie, Kaya, Lucius, Millie and Suhair, with thanks to Sammy. Alistair led all the filmmaking workshops, so a big thank you to him, and he was assisted by Katie and Megan. This film was made possible by Horsecross Arts, Perth and Conross Association of Voluntary Service and Screen Scotland. <laughs>